Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So again, I have no eye makeup on. Um, I did recently purchase a new palette. This one is a lot more expensive than the last palette that I did a first impressions on. Um, this one retails for $89, so I definitely wanted to see if it was worth the money. It is the Vizart Paris Nudes Palette. This palette has been on my wish list for quite some time now. I've heard various makeup artists rave about Vizart itself as a brand and it's supposed to be very, very good quality. And for the price, I sure hope it's good quality because this was $89. So basically 90 Australian dollars for this one palette. So yeah, if you'd like to see how it goes on my eyes and then like my overall opinions on it, then just keep watching. So this palette doesn't contain any matte eyeshadows. Um, I don't really have any explanation as to why that may be. I guess it's because it is a makeup artist brand and they kind of just have various palettes for different themes, I guess. Like they have a neutral matte, a colorful matte. They have this one and I think they have another shimmery one, the Sultry Muse. I also own that and I want to film my first impressions on that soon. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and start swatching these. Um, how much product do you get in this palette? So there's 12 shades in this palette and there's 24 grams. So that means that there's 2 grams per shadow, which is actually very, very decent because that's more than MAC. Um, a MAC pan, I think, has 1.3 grams of product. Let me just check that. Hold on. Okay, MAC has 1.5 grams. This has 2 grams. So... I guess if you work it out price-wise, it isn't that bad, but it is still really expensive to drop all that money in one sitting. But anyway, I'm just going to start swatching these shadows, and I'll just swatch them on my arm, I guess. Oh my goodness, that is so pigmented. Oh my goodness. Those shades are gorgeous. Obviously, that pink shade you can hardly see because it's so close to my skin tone, but oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. Okay, so I've just swatched all the shades on my hand for you. Um, quite happy with the pigmentation so far. Some of the shades are a lot better than other shades, but what can we do really? Um, yeah, I can definitely say that this shade reminds me so much of NARS Albatross. So if you like using that as an eyeshadow, then maybe put this into consideration. It's like a stark white, but then it's got like yellow to it as well. It's really, really gorgeous. So I'm going to take this shade here. And I'm going to try and use that as a transition color and we'll see how that goes. I love how the shadow blended out really, really easy. I did have a stark line there, or at least I found it quite stark. And all I needed to do was brush my brush along there a little bit and it did soften that line. So, so far, very blendable in my opinion. And although I love my mattes, this isn't too, like, shimmery. It's just a really, really beautiful sheen. Like, I don't need think on camera you can even tell that it isn't a matte. I have no idea. Can you tell or not? I have no idea. But in real life, you can't like notice that it's like boom, shimmer. Like it's just like a very, very subtle shimmer with that shade. Um, I don't have any names for these shades, unfortunately, but I was using this one in the very, very top. Okay, really liking that shade. So good thumbs up for that one. I'm going to go in with this shade here now. And I'm going to try and put that kind of on the outer corner. When I dip my brush into these shadows, I do get a little bit of fly up. So they are slightly powdery, um, but nothing like excessive. You just get a little bit of fly up with them. That color definitely turned a lot more red on the eye. In the palette, it's more of a kind of purple cranberry tone. This one up the top here. These colors are really, really easy to work with. Like you don't need to have a lot on your brush to actually get impact on your eye, but then it doesn't seem to have any fallout either. Like I remember the first time I did my shade, my brush into this shade, I did have quite a bit on my brush and I haven't had any fallout. So that's amazing. Um, I'm going to take this shade now, my favorite shade in the palette, and I'm gonna just put that kind of on the inner portion of my eye, just using that same brush. Oh my goodness, yes. Like, I feel like sometimes with red eyeshadow or like pinker tone eyeshadows, it's really, really hard to get that perfect balance. Sometimes it's too red that it makes you look sick and then sometimes it's too pink and it makes you look like you've got pink eye. But this one in particular is just a perfect balance. I'm obsessed. 
with this shade. But putting on that color, it kind of made this shade just disappear, like the first color that I put in my crease. I don't know if that's because the color is so light to begin with or what the go is, but I can't really notice it there anymore. I'm just gonna whack a little bit of a darker shade. So I'm gonna take this color and I'm gonna put that on the outer part of my eye. I don't really know what to say, but I really, really love these shadows. Like they're not ultra powdery, but they're not super hard either. I feel like to get any pigment, you can't have a super, super hard shadow. You need to have a little bit of like slip to the powder. Um, so I love that. I love how you don't get any fallout due to the formula and just how it applies to the eye. Like you don't need to keep packing and packing and packing it on to actually get pigment. It just, it's there. <laughs> it's just there. I don't really know what else to say. It's really, really gorgeous. And I love how easy it is for the um, eyeshadows to blend out. Like I've used three brushes so far. This brush I've used clean just to kind of blend out the edges. This one I've used to apply a few shadows and this one I used in my crease. I'm going to go in with a smudger brush and I'm going to take firstly the red shade and then I'm going to take this shade in the corner and I'm just going to try and put them on my eye. I love how you don't need to keep dipping back and forth to actually get color on your eye. That is a big, big plus for me. Okay, so far I'm super impressed. I'm just gonna take that same brush and that color again, and I'm just, or oh, get yeah, that color again, I'm just gonna put that on the outer corner. I don't really wanna highlight my brow bone purely for the fact that I never highlight my brow bone with shimmer, ever. Um, so I'm not going to start today, but I will highlight my inner corner. So I'm just gonna use this shade here, the one on the very, very end, and I'm just gonna highlight my inner corner. That would be a perfect everyday highlight because it's not too intense, but it doesn't look like you've put nothing on your face. But I do want to kind of have a bit of a kick. So instead, I'm going to go in with this shade, the stuck white albatross looking shade, um, just because I want that inner corner to pop. Okay, I don't really think I want to apply any more eyeshadows to my face purely because I don't really know what else I can really do. Um, but I'm super, super impressed with how the eyeshadows have performed. I definitely think so far it's worth the money. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off my eyes with just a little bit of mascara and maybe some fake lashes and I will come back and I'll give you my overall thoughts on the palette. Okay guys, so I have just finished putting on my mascara and my eyelashes. Uh, I use the Ardell Wispy Lashes and that got me this look today. I really, really love this palette. I love how I didn't need any additional eyeshadows to create a look. And it just looks so effortless and it like if I was doing this on an everyday basis It would probably take me about two minutes because they're just so blendable and so beautiful um, Would I recommend it? I would say if you have the money to buy the palette or if you are kind of Putting a wish list together for like a birthday or like something like that Definitely consider putting this on the list or considering purchasing it. I do think it's good, but it's not be all end all like, no makeup item in my eyes is be-all, end-all. It's just more, it's a good product, and I would recommend it if you can afford it and if you personally think you'll get use out of the palette. Obviously, if you only like using a certain type of color and that is not here, don't go breaking the bank over this palette because obviously you might not get use out of it, and that is a lot of money to just be sitting in your drawers. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, overall, if you can afford it and you actually like these tones, definitely give this palette a go because I don't think you can really go too wrong. I really enjoy it and I don't really think there's anything else for me to say. I love the packaging. It's very, very sleek, very compact and you can actually see what's inside without even opening it. So I love the packaging. It's quite sturdy as well and I just love it. It's beautiful quality and I feel like you definitely do get your money's worth. You get 12 shadows. 24 grams, that's 2 grams of shadow. You can't go wrong with that. That's more than MAC. And then it works out to be cheaper than MAC per shadow anyway. So, yeah. I don't really think there's anything else for me to say. I love this palette. I will continue to use it, especially even on a daily basis. Um, and even on nights out. I'm so excited. And yeah, I think I'm going to keep rambling if I talk for much longer. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.